High school athletics are back on this fall, but with some big changes. There will be limits on who can attend sporting events, and that might just make some parents mad. Rod Carter joins us now live at Middleton High School with more on this. I can just see this happening right now. Sorry, Dad, you have to stay home. Mom, it's your turn to go. Exactly. It's like, who do I choose exactly? So, of course, all the games start up next week. Volleyball is first, and then football follows that. Well, today I talked to two students here at Middleton High School. One is a, uh, a quarterback, the other is a linebacker. Both of them say they're really glad somebody's going to be in the stands watching. As athletes get ready to tear it up on the turf, the Hillsborough County School District is looking at safety in the stands amid this COVID pandemic, releasing its return to athletics plan today. And this is all for us to really control the capacity. I asked the superintendent, Addison Davis, about it. As we continue to navigate through this pandemic, we've got to be really solid about how we're going to intake spectators and how we're going to make certain that we have organized seating at every one of our, sta uh, every one of our standards and every one of our stadiums. Under this plan, there will be a strict limit of four tickets for each game per student. That includes the football players, cheerleaders, band, JROTC students as well. Parking and concessions will be cashless, and the four people will have to sit together in a pod. We're going to have every stadium already marked out, and we will have individuals ushering and identifying uh, locations to make certain that we have social distancing along the way. This is also going to be true for any of our, our gymnasiums as well. Now, while the ticket limits may frustrate some, athletes like these two Middleton High School football players say they'll be happy to just have some fans back in the stands. I think they're putting it in the respect, uh, perspective of our family so they can come see us play. At least we have somebody. I mean, because if nobody was there, it would be kind of dead. Like, I like having support behind me, you know? But is it the right call when even the Buccaneers aren't allowing fans in? But you have other counties throughout the state that are not letting anyone come to any of the games related to away games or home games. So I think we're doing a really good job trying to meet in the middle. So here's a really good way you can think of it. You know how when you get graduation tickets and you only get a certain amount, you have to make a decision on who can go and who can't go? Consider this the exact same thing. By the way, if you're saying to yourself, you know what, I'll just show up anyway. Get some tickets at the gate when I get there. Surely they won't turn me away. Don't bother. They won't be selling tickets at any of the gates, at any of the stadiums for any of these games. Reporting live in Tampa, Rod Carter, 8 on your side.